Hello and welcome back. Today we're reacting to some more of the amazing Kurzgesagt. Today we're reacting to neutron stars, the most extreme things that are not black holes. Neutron stars can be described with one word, extreme. Just like my gratitude for you for hitting that like button if you enjoy this content. Sometimes I disappoint myself. Neutron stars are one of that the is a really cool animation. Violent things Starting up. In the universe. Just amazing. Giant atomic nuclei, only a few kilometers in diameter, but as massive as stars. Mm -hmm. And they owe their existence to the death of something majestic. A phoenix. No, that's not it. Stars exist because of a fragile balance. The mass of millions of billions of trillions of tons of hot plasma are being pulled inwards by gravity and squeeze material More together mass than so we can even comprehend. Nuclei fuse. Hydrogen fuses into helium. Mm -hmm. This releases energy which pushes against gravity and tries to escape. As long as this balance exists, stars are pretty stable. Yep. Eventually, the hydrogen will be exhausted. Medium stars like our sun go through a giant phase where they burn helium into carbon and oxygen before they eventually turn into white dwarfs. Ah, okay. When stars many times the mass of our sun, things get So our sun will be a white dwarf exhausted. one day then, hey? For a moment, the balance of pressure and radiation tips and gravity wins, squeezing the star tighter than before. The core burns hotter and faster, while the outer layers of the star swell by hundreds of times, fusing heavier and heavier elements. Wow. Carbon burns to neon in centuries, neon to oxygen in a year, huh. oxygen to silicon in months, and silicon to iron in a day. And when we're talking and about the quantity death, that we're talking about, that's just iron insane. Is nuclear ash. It has no energy to give and cannot be fused. The fusion suddenly stops and the balance ends. Without the outward pressure from fusion, the core is crushed by the enormous weight of the star above it. What happens now is awesome and scary. Particles like electrons and protons really don't want to be near each other. But the pressure We really got to talk more about so great the animation here. I mean, these guys are just neutrons, amazing. Which then get squeezed together as tightly as in atomic nuclei. An iron ball the size of the Earth is squeezed into a ball of pure nuclear matter the size of a city. So basically, a neutron star is star implodes, when there's just the it's just not strong enough to make a black hole, right? Speed of light. Gravity doesn't quite the win in the end. Bounces off the iron core, producing a shock wave that explodes outwards and catapults the rest of the star into space. This is what we call a supernova explosion, yep. and it will outshine entire galaxies. What remains of the star is now a neutron star. Its mass is around a million times the mass of the Whoa. Earth, but compressed to an object about 25 kilometers wide. Jeez. It's so dense that the mass of all living humans would fit into one cubic centimeter of neutron star matter. What? That's roughly a billion tons in a space the size of a sugar cube. That's insane. Way, that's Mount Everest in a cup of coffee. <laughs> From the outside, a wow. neutron star is unbelievably extreme. Its gravity is the strongest outside black holes, and if it were any denser... And these are real places. Light is <laughs> or real things. It, meaning you can see the front and parts of the back. Their surfaces reach a million degrees Celsius compared to a measly 6,000 degrees for our sun. <laughs> okay, let's look inside a neutron star. Wow. Although these giant atomic nuclei are stars, in many ways they're also like planets with solid crusts. Because they're solid, core. yeah. The crust well, the is crust at least. Hard. The outermost layers are made of iron left over from the supernova, squeezed together in a crystal lattice with a sea of electrons flowing through them. Going deeper, gravity squeezes nuclei closer together. We find fewer and fewer protons as most merge to neutrons. Until we reach the base of the crust. Here, nuclei are squeezed together so hard that they start to touch. Protons and Yoki neutrons are <laughs> Spaghetti fans. Or sheets, enormous are these really what they're called? <laughs> protons and What's up, like Fizz? Come on. Physicists call nuclear pasta. Nuclear you know, I don't doubt so that's what it's actually called, actually. material in the universe, basically unbreakable. 
lumps of pasta inside a neutron star can even huh. make mountains at most a few centimeters high wow. but many times as massive as the Himalayas. Eventually, beneath the pasta, we reach the core. Mm -hmm. We're not really sure what the properties of matter are when they're squeezed this hard. We can't replicate that in a lab. An ocean of quarks, a so-called quark gluon plasma. Some of those quarks might turn into strange quarks, making a sort of strange matter with properties so extreme that we made a whole video about it. Or maybe they just stay. We'll have to check that one out. Neutrons. No one knows for sure, and that's why we do science. That's all. No, I'm hungry. Stuff, no, I want lasagna. So let's go back out into space. When neutron stars first collapse, they begin to spin <laughs> very, very fast, like a ballerina. Is that supposed to be a uh, neutron star? Sailor Moon. Still ballerinas spinning many times per second. This creates pulses because their magnetic field creates a beam of radio waves which passes every time they spin. Okay. These radio pulsars are the best known type of neutron star. Pulsars. About 2,000 are known of in the Milky Way. These magnetic fields are the strongest in the universe, a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's after they're born. Quadrillion? Magnetars until they calm down a little. But the absolute best <laughs> kind of neutron stars are friends with other neutron stars. By radiating away energy as gravitational waves Whoa. ripples in space-time, their orbits can decay and they can crash into and kill each other in a kilonova explosion a kilonova. that out a lot of their guards. When they do, the conditions become so extreme that for a moment, that's, heavy nuclei are made again. That's got to turn into a black hole, right? Well, I suppose there's a tipping point. Neutron-rich matter falling apart and reassembling. Only wow. very recently, we've learned that this is probably the origin of most of the heavy elements in the universe. That's like crazy. Gold, uranium and platinum and dozens more. So then now, two neutron stars collapse and become a black hole, dying yet again. Huh. Not only do stars have to die to create elements, they have to die twice. <laughs> you only live Over twice. Millions of years, these atoms will mix back into the galaxy, but some of them end up in a cloud which gravity pulls together to form stars and planets, repeating the cycle. Yeah, I, I had read somewhere or saw somewhere, I don't recall which, a lot of the heavier elements were made in the deaths of old stars and without that we wouldn't have elements like gold and uranium that a lot of what we use today that sustains our life as modern humans came from the death of a star which is just amazing to think about that the gold in your phone came from a star that had died eons ago and somehow made its way into the clouds of material that ended up forming what is now earth we are so insignificant. Our solar system is one example, and the remains of those neutron stars that came before us are all around us. Mm -hmm. Our entire technological modern world ah, was, I was built out like of I was just saying. neutron stars made in eons past, sending these atoms on a 13 billion year journey to come together and make us and our world. And that's pretty cool. That's very cool. Until then... We it kind of makes you feel special, actually, that everything that had led up to us being able to not only exist today, but to prosper in the way that we are. It's insane to think about. As always, these Kurzgesagt videos knock it out of the park. Amazing. Everything about it. I loved it. Very informative. I want to go watch that uh, other video they talked about with the strange stars or strange matter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm learning a lot going through this and I love learning. I really appreciate it more than you can know. I hope that you have yourself a wonderful day.